I feel like this is something. Oh my god, it's like a f they have villagers trapped. I'm gonna come and use this. Hold on, I'm getting this voice stone. They have ripside respiration. Unbreaking three. Hmm. But good to know that this is kind of mermaid territory then. We're actually really close to Chromatron right now. Gosh, this house could literally be anywhere. You think they would have built it somewhere close to here? I don't know. I asked Max if he knew where they live, and he said, oh. Oh, someone's dead. What the heck is this? Oh, what is this? What is this? Looks like some sort of, like, ritual pool. I didn't realize there was Get so much ocean between the... the... Yeah, there's a lot. Between... What the frick is this? There's just a well that spawned in the middle of the ocean? Well. Well, well, well. Well, well. <laughs> That's really <laughs> funny. That was stupid. No, <laughs> it, no. It's just funny that it's in the middle of the ocean. Sugar cane! Well, I'm glad you're benefiting from this. <laughs> it's a non renewable resource. We need them. A jungle. Oh, it's raining. What the fuck? And I also need. Sugar cane to make paper to make fireworks to get more totems. It's a whole process. Mm. I don't know where the frick this house is. At least I'm learning. Like I'm finding other places, and I I found a ton of other houses. I just mind coal. Why is it not dropping? Fuck. You. Oh, I'm stupid. This house doesn't exist. I swear. Maybe they don't live in their own house. What if they just live in the castle? I'm gonna not cry. They, but what, if does? what do you think the chances are that this is all just ocean and there's not like an island in there with a house? Hi. Okay, then we're not gonna go back over there. Imagine. <laughs> I will cry though if I go back there later and find the house. Okay, I will cry. then let's go there. No, because I don't want to <laughs> go and then find out there's nothing. We're almost to the Cloud Kingdom, anyways. I mean, for all we know, they're thousands of blocks away because they could do that because of the what if frickin'... What don't even have a house? What if this is all for nothing? Pillager tower. Oh my god, can I... Oh wait. Honestly, I feel like I've been here. I don't have any arrows. I'm dumb. I'm walking around with no, no there, weapon. There's, there's no pillagers. There's no pillagers here. Oh. They, there's no they, way, though. Because of like the... Because of the thing, they don't spawn anymore at towers. They just kind of on their own, wherever they feel like. Oh, because of the disease. Yes, it has some association. They spawn at mansions, though, which is good. Oh, gosh. I yeah, almost jumped off of that because... I swear to God. Don't talk to me about <laughs> going headfirst into things. I don't want to hear it. Ooh, I'm not used to not being... I gotta remember. I, don't care. Not... I still have the resource pack that sh tells me that it's... I'm in hardcore and it still doesn't register sometimes. Uh, yeah, I, I had to put that on too because I kept forgetting. Would you go to Kaya's funeral? Yeah! I sob at Kaya's funeral. What are you talking about? Please don't. Please don't make me... No. I, can't, I can't handle if, any more of my friends if, dying. No. What the frick is this terror t terrain? Be careful. I'm worried there's going to be random holes in places. Who needs to be a seraph when you've got Elytra? I mean, they can just float in the air. We can't I mean, do that. <laughs> that. That's true. They're the most that's why their you. builds are we... pun intended and godly. Are we pests? Where is where are we? Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm just blindly following you. I'm not even looking at the map. Yeah, if we keep going this way, it'll be we'll get to the Stratus. I mean that that place we went to illegally. <laughs> okay, we're here. Yay! 
just a mind shift. Estelle is out. on. I know. We. I mean, I don't, we don't even know if she's in the kingdom yet, though. I was just hoping we could find something. Oh, I wonder what blue means. What do you mean? Blue. Oh, it's the horses. Blue arrows on journey map. Apparently, it means horses. This was probably looted really early on. Just to double check. Yep, I disabled that. Good. Something works finally. Oh, look at all these floating trees. This is an abomination. Oh my god. Can leave them a sign. The Elven Kingdom would not appreciate this. Be like, how? Look at all of these. Oh my god. Was this a result of them not cutting them down, or is are these just glitch trees? <laughs> these look like what the f it just keeps going i think they're just glitched there's no way because with the fucking with the tree mod it breaks the whole tree so there's no way they deliberately did this i think these are just messed up no they deli this is this oh is, no it this, was is a task. this is the it was a task. <laughs> this is the mermaid oh. task Oh my yeah, gosh, we found I it. Now. I don't even know if the seraphs know this exists. They had to do the whole fort. I mean, the, I don't know what. I wonder if. Oh, does it only save my waystones or does it save all the waystones? I think it only saves the ones that I end up getting, which is a bummer. Or just ask me, like, hey, do you want to plant some lore? Can I plant this at your house? I'm not. Pl I'm not planting a warden down. I said I was gonna put the. I know warden you're gonna egg. plant the egg. Not. I mean, I'm just gonna put it in the house. Like I'm just gonna put it in a chest or something, so that when rain's like, where's the egg? Where'd it go? Then it's blamed on Nimbus. Only if though. I'm only gonna do that though, if I find evidence that Nimbus has fire res potions. Oh, I'm out of. Um, do you have food? Perhaps. I'm out of food and I can't swim. Okay, wait. Foxy. Hey there. <sighs> Thanks. You're welcome. Gonna need compensation for that. No, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> what? The compensation is me allowing you to be using that elytra. What? But we're not... We're not in the elven kingdom. It's not... It's if an elf... You are an elf. Okay. Okay. That's true. But if non-elves use it in the elven I don't kingdom, have, it's illegal. I don't have an elytra. I have a crystallite elytra. It's not my fault that it wasn't specified. It's an elytra. You literally just said crystallite elytra. Therefore, it is okay, an elytra. It's not an elytra. It's a crystallite elytra. The book should be more specific. No, a you just said the word elytra. So it is an elytra. <laughs> okay, but it's also a crystallite one. Okay, who cares? Like, if someone says oh, all swords are banned this. This and you're was... like, but it's a wooden sword. That sounds stupid. <laughs> uh oh, this was me. Because, so I almost died. Like, falling so i had to panic and place water and not a nice time hmm. good job where are we thanks we're um, made a huge circle we're close to the you know, oc game. village yep i don't think we're making any progress i don't <laughs> at this point we're just running to run and use up food i think is what was decided. That's what I kind of heard too, and yeah, because Rain's Rain was like, "Um, I'm not letting them join or whoever, Marina." Uh, I have his telepass. Hmm. Can you go? In, Actually, wait. In do base? I? I might have been with the ones I deleted. I oh, know I have it. Gib, Gib, Gib. Oh, you want it? Yeah. Well, or but he's never given it to you. I'm not gonna. Oh. Duh. Okay, wait. Okay. Um, this is absolutely nerve What if he's in the sky? Yeah, exactly. Then... Okay, well, hang on. I have a totem of undying. Let me. <laughs> no, I have a totem of undying. Okay. Actually, I'm also gonna have yours on. I stay on the ground. 
If he's in the air and yes, I'm falling, I'm TPing to you. Got it? Okay. Okay. And, okay. and then if, if you're fine, then I'm going to TP to you. Okay. This is either going to go really well or really terrible. <laughs> you have a totem. It's fine. I, it's fine. I got to I gotta lose some I mean, hunger so that I can t do some... If, if it was me, I would just place a water bucket down, but do you have those reflexes? No. I definitely don't. <laughs> Do you want my elytra? In case you do. Let me falling. lose. No, I don't want your elytra. Let me. I'm gonna kill myself if I use your elytra. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm going. Okay. Don't I'm wait. Don't. Yeah. Don't TP. I won't. I won't. I'm. I'm waiting. I did it. Is it safe? Um. No. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I, I am in their office. I have... Okay, I'm going to do the most riskiest oh. thing I've ever done. No, don't run out. Don't open the door and run out. <laughs> I got the waist stone that I put away. What? Wait, wait to, to where is that? Nimbus's office. Oh, wait, in his house? Yeah. Okay. Yo. That was the ballsiest Dude, thing. Dude, doing that. I, that was the ballsiest thing that I've ever done. Did they hear the sound of- I don't know. It looked like they were tabbed out or like AFK. Wait, I kind of want to go and get it. Hold on. No, 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 no. You, we'll get it later. Oh, like in lore? Yeah, you can- No. Well, I'm keeping that part in, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> what are you doing that whole thing? I- Yeah, we'll, we'll go later when he's not online, of course. Okay, so because he has a secret office in the Seraph Kingdom, apparently. But I don't know if he has a house. If he gets on with Pinky, then I want to do that again. Same plan again. I did not think you were that ballsy, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> you should see the things I do. <laughs> do you not remember when I infiltrated the Mermaid Kingdom and had... Theo distract the princess. Oh, I I remember that. I was I was there while he was distracting. He was yeah. like, I don't know what to say. He's messaging me like, I don't know what to say. I'm like, bro, you think I know? There's a reason I'm a spy master. You didn't think I was that ballsy. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Also, it's not like they weren't moving. They didn't react to me pushing them over. So I took that as a gate of opportunity but like it was a really small yeah. room and i was like freaking out for a second because i was like i don't really know where to go <laughs> so <laughs> you're just gonna stuck perfect that worked out great i have access to his office does he have a house don't know i was gonna suggest something for like the amara plan and then i thought it was kind of stupid so i didn't say it what was your suggestion i was gonna say that we fake animals death Oh, but I was gonna say it, but then it felt like stupid, so I didn't. Say, Cause you guys were going in a completely different direction, so I did not suggest that. Well, it is an option. I don't I'm know how thinking, we would fake uh, we're, it we're without at the me. Fucking, we're at the train track. I know. I'm. I'm just literally just loading random things. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the Elven Kingdom and work on my freaking basement. Go to yes, I can help you collect terracotta. Now that I have access to his office, maybe that's where he's keeping some info. And I can go back to the Seraph Kingdom now that I have a waystone to the Seraph Kingdom. That's really nice. But I thought that, like, if it, Amara thinks Annabelle's dead, then Amara would, like, step up yeah, and, like, do I'm something. Not, mm, yeah, I'm not. But I don't know if that would work, though. I don't know. And more grass. Gonna end my life. Okay, I'll bring you. Why don't I just get dirt? Because you're gonna cover it anyway. <laughs> That's up. I'm two in it now. Oh yeah. That's right. I said that earlier, didn't okay, then just yeah, don't give me any grass. Nope, it's too late. <laughs> it's already in motion. It's already in motion. Here here is sixty three blocks of grass and then one block of dirt. Pick it up. Oh. 63 blocks of grass, one block of dirt. 
Ken and Marina have been talking for so long. Yeah, I wonder what they're talking about. Actually, it's fine. I, I, I could never hold a conversation for that long. I feel like we talked a lot yesterday with Annabelle. I mean, we did, but like, we were also like kind of messing around. It wasn't like just pure serious the True. whole time. That's the thing. I should have asked Annabelle if we were going to tell her about the plan to... Man. Our alibi is that we've been doing this. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I don't know if anyone asks. Which isn't totally a lie. I can't get the top block if you mine the block below me. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> You're extremely lucky I can't kill you right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm so Here, we can test out that totem thing. Go for it. Wait, let me put it on. No, I really don't want to. I really don't want to kill you. That's okay. I'm going to just cannon. fly up and take off. <laughs> it's too canon. What it's, do you mean? It's too canon. There's too many people on for them to be witnessing it, so I wouldn't be able to bring no, you back. No, but if my totem activates, I won't die. No, you know what? But if I it doesn't, I can't bring you no, back. No. No, I'm not doing Are you it. Teleporting? I'm not wasting it. Okay, I'm going to talk to Kano. Um, okay, I'll stay here. Unless you want me to come. Should we go? Should we meet here at the school? Sure, we can keep working. <laughs> well, I don't want to be digging holes while I'm talking to him. Um, okay, I can. I'll just tell him to come to Evergreen. Give me the dirt. Oh, we're like going. Okay. There's, there's only, I only have nine grass blocks left, so. What? Oh wait, wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> yeah. He's so professional. He's like, how how may I help you? We can meet. Where would you like to be? And I'm I like, know, come yeah, here. A, yeah. Be Some here right less, now. Less professional in their missives. Oh, let me take off the electric. <laughs> oh yeah. Oopsie. Should we Hello. Uh, should we have him join the group? Uh, do you want to? Yeah. Or we can just leave. I don't think anybody's here. <laughs> just leave. It's okay. All right. Okay, never mind. I can, but you'll need to tell me the password. <laughs> oh, there's none. There's none. No one no usually password. tries to infiltrate <laughs> groups, so I was like, why make a password? Um, I mean, I know things have been calmer lately, but it doesn't mean you should, if, you, if you've got private conversations, don't just leave the groups open really nilly. But if somebody joins, you can just stop talking. I'll make it quick, then. Um, oh, sorry. I'm running around like a crazy person. <laughs> That's fine. You're welcome. Make I'm sure tired. Uh, no, right, I'm actually okay, so tired. I'm just losing my mind. It's fine. I've been, yeah. I've been out. I've been digging, digging for a long time. Um, yes. Yes. I know. It's, <laughs> nice, it's nice to finally see you outside of the nether for once. I know. I feel like we don't see each other anymore. I know. In fact, and I'm not someone sure. Someone likes to hang out with their lover in the nether. Well, okay, well, stop judging me, I guess. I'm <laughs> like, not judging you, I'm simply stating facts. I, we live together. I'm it's well aware. Like You've been living together for years. Exactly. There's no new news here. Okay. Anyways. Mm -hmm. This information you might hear from Annabelle as well. In fact, I did not really tell her I was going to tell you. But I feel like I sh you should be in on it. Because Kaya's in on it. And I feel okay. like it's very important information. Um, so. Amara. What do you know about her? Um, well, I... Uh, Annabella allowed me to read your report, Kaya. So I'm up to speed on the most recent things that you have shared with us. Um, okay. So oh, so you've of... seen the p report. Okay. Correct. Yes, I have. Okay. So I feel like that's... Okay. It gives you plenty of background. Um, I feel uneasy about Amara not telling Kaya anything. 
and nothing we haven't heard any plans or anything besides a loose mention that if um Annabelle doesn't what was it break off things with karma or something or was it just um, what well, uh. I just remember the I word remember drastic. The is that she just, I think it's more the idea that she doesn't approve. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm interpreting your words, but I think it sounded like that uh, Amar does not approve of the marriage. And if, you know, things continue to go in a way she doesn't like, then she might resort to drastic measures to try and keep Yeah, something, something like that. And that concerns me. So what I wanted to try without involving karma and the kids as much as possible was Mm. try to provoke Amara. And the way I, the idea I had to go about it was to Pretend, essentially, that I'm going to come back to the Elven throne and be princess again. Oh. Because I know that would not make her happy. But instead of Annabelle stepping down and allowing me to take it, because we didn't want it to be like, oh, I'm going to go off and be with my wife and children and stuff. It was going to be something that I forcefully did. Okay. Um, interesting possibility. Do you think she would buy it? Well, I don't know if she would be suspicious about it. I just know she wouldn't be happy about me being back on the throne, and that's why I wanted to provoke her. If she doesn't do anything, fine, dandy. I can pull, always pull back from right. it. But if she does do something, and she plans something, and Kaya... Like, if I, I told Kaya that if slash when, if this plan goes through, then Kaya can say, can be a spy for Amara and tell her essentially what we're doing and let her win a little bit, you know, slightly, not hugely, to gain Kaya's trust so that we can get information from her that we need we don't know we have zero information on the twin curse still and we have zero information what she plans to do with the elven throne that she's claiming that she wants back Mm -hmm. so i just don't like that she's not telling kai anything it's been so quiet i have a feeling that she's planning things behind the scenes without telling kaya what they are that is, I mean, that, that would be expected. Um, even people that you trust often don't get to hear everything that you know. I, I think it's an interesting idea. Do are we willing to potentially compromise the throne in order to try and get this information? Defying compromise the throne. Well, okay. So, if if this were to go through, mm-hmm. for example, so so. So if the plan is to try and make it seem like you're going to step up, mm-hmm. if Amar shows up, what are, what are we expecting her to do? Is she going to defend Annabelle's rule on the throne and try to assert that she remains in power? In some I way? have a feeling. Is she going to threaten someone? Is she going to try and usurp the throne entirely and do what Heather did a long time ago in some ways, where though she was sort of part of it already she was part of the process and then slowly took over are we expecting something that's going to be like a complete turnover is it going to be something gradual and subtle i we have to expect everything we have to expect anything and everything to happen and that's the whole point is that i'm trying to figure out what she would do because right now she's doing nothing and that's why i'm trying to provoke her right so that we can at least find a way to defeat her or something to get her from because she hides she's a person who hides in the shadows if she was actually a powerful person individually like i'm not saying she's not a powerful person but like individually like if she wanted to like kill me she would have done it already 
mm-hmm. she wouldn't have sent I mean, bounty hunters. <laughs> yeah, but she sent but yes. bounty hunters. It wasn't her herself being like, oh, I'm this all-powerful being. Let me just kill you. Right. She had other people doing it for her. So I'm not... I'm not... I don't think she's someone to, like, make a public appeal because she didn't... She doesn't do that. She doesn't... She... she if she wanted to do that, she could have showed up during Annabelle's coronation and be like, mm, I'm going to make this public announcement and you guys can't do anything mm. about it because I'm so powerful. But she, did, she didn't She did do that. Which is very fair. So then, are we confident or are we set in this idea that we would want to do something as large scale as this? Because, you know, in order for you to presumably pretend to take the throne that's that's quite a lot to set up um and ideally if we want to make her believe it we have to also not tell people about it which i will admit i am more reluctant to do than i used to be you know now that we're in this time of peace in some ways you know kingdoms are getting along and unified i i do worry that if we toss the spanner in that mix you know how many people would we not know would you even tell morgan about this going on yes no i would I would tell her, and I, I'm telling you this now because I'm not saying that this plan is in motion. I'm telling you that this is an idea that I'm having, and I'm talking to people to g- gain opinions and thoughts and insights. So what you're saying, I'm soaking in what you are saying. Even Kaya had a different idea. I don't know if I think it's better or I don't, worse. <laughs> I don't know if it's better or I don't really. I don't know. Um. But just an idea to get her to f- away from hiding in the shadows so we can get something out of her. That, that is completely fair. Uh, and as you know, I will support whatever it is that, that Annabelle, that you decide to do. Um, I, I think it's probably smart that we try to be on the offensive rather than the defensive when it comes to this, if, if we really aren't seeing any reactions. Um, but I am wary of uh, putting ourselves in a vulnerable position to try and get her to do something, because I I fear that if she gains that leverage, she might just use it to her advantage. Especially, I know this was mentioned before as well, but if she is aware of the lore keeper and what they did is it possible that there be some sort of way that she would try to i don't know wrap them into all this as well but that's exactly my point is that i'm worried that she's gonna spring out at any point because she's planning something big behind the scenes but if i provoke her early when her plans aren't finished then I could be rushing her or panicking her and that could give Mm -hmm. us an advantage. Right. And because either way, I mean, we could be sitting, sitting ducks and just waiting for whatever she plans to happen at whatever point in time, or we plan for a part for her to maybe take the bait and then trap her in it. Right. Though I, I will say, and this is me, again, putting on my sort of thinker's cap on it. So, if this were to work, in this plan, I'm assuming that you'd be needing to use Kaya's role as a double agent in order to try and tell Amara that we are, in some way, planning this. Or this is... No, no, I wouldn't tell... I wouldn't have Kaya tell her about the plan this type of plan that we're having this discussion right now i would have kaya be like like it was before when i was on like my night as princess and be giving information of what i'm doing as princess does that make sense right it does um and I'll be frank and honest. Mm-hmm. Are we confident that Kai will indeed do that? And not just tell Amara everything we're talking about right now. I am. I trust her. 
I know other people don't, but I trust her. Okay. Um, so if it's in that case, then, regardless, say we tell, you know, Amara hears about this, what would lead her to not already think it's potentially a trap of some sort? Because if I'm her, knowing full well that something like this is happening, obviously I wouldn't like it. But I'd have to think to an extent she'd probably have some sort of a contingency plan set up regardless. So, hypothetically, if she were to, not necessarily know about our conversation that we have right now, but if she were to come and arrive, whatever she reacts to, however she chooses to react, she's going to probably have some other part of her plan that she's going to piece together. She probably will already be aware of the fact that we might have some things prepared. So, I'm just thinking it might be worth, if, if we choose to go through a plan like this, we may need to be more thorough in some of our background investigations on people we bring to an event, if we were to do it at some sort of venue or some sort, mm. or we might need to just check a lot more variables, because if I'm Amara, admittedly, it makes a lot of sense for Kai to be there, but if she's already started to pull away, who's to say that she may, has, may have not already found someone else? To potentially try and get information from that we don't know about Ooh. or she maybe has some sort of bug somewhere within the kingdom that would allow her to do something that may not even be a person mm. not that i want to make us panic or worry but these are things that come to my mind as an advisor and someone who's been trained to think about the strategies people use in order to get information that is the nature of what a spy master tends to do and if she's going to act like that it may be important that we we have to play triple chest with her in order to actually get her to be in a spot of vulnerability. I agree. Or, if we're in a spot where, you're, like you said, putting ourselves in a vulnerable place just to see how she reacts, and then we have to act on the defensive regardless, we can do that. But I don't like the idea of us putting ourselves at risk. Because if she's as strong as she claims to be, she could genuinely use that as a, an opportunity to cause something to happen in our kingdom that we don't want to have happen. I don't feel... Like, me being put on the throne would put me in any less vulnerable situation than I am right now. Besides, I mean, it's not like I stay, I live in the nether, but I don't stay in there. She doesn't come no. after me while I'm walking around in the elven kingdom. So, or that she could, true. but just decides not to. And I don't know why. I mean, I personally, it, it, it may sound dumb. But the fact that you and Lady Morgan are a thing would be a deterrent enough for anyone to go after you. True. Because if they have to deal with her wrath, that's of equal value to any sort of demonic threat that's out there. So if I'm Amara, and I know that you're under protection of High Lady Morgan, I would never try to go after you. Because if I get her on my back, I'm not going away anywhere. She's going to find me and murder me. Very true. So I have a strong feeling that that would probably be why she's not gone after you. Again, she has leverage over Annabelle because she's her daughter. Mm -hmm. And as well, she's got Kaya right there to do whatever she wishes to have her do. At least in her head, whether it be again true or not. I think there's... <sighs> she's got her tools and her pieces where she wants them still, which is probably why she's been so patient and not willing to undermine things. So that this could jar her up, but... Perhaps, if we're already involving Morgan in it, maybe you do something like have you and Morgan get into a quote-unquote fight. Make it a dramatic action. Something's between the two of you. Try and convince her that perhaps you're not as well guarded as you once were. If you're making yourself the pawn, we can make you the pawn and make it much more clear and obvious that you're in a vulnerable spot of position. Like a public fight? I mean... You could, I mean, if you want to use Kai as a means of getting a message in there, perhaps maybe Kai says, oh, I saw Melody and Morgan, they had a fight together the other day. And then what you do is if you have an event like this, get her involved and have Morgan maybe publicly outcry against you taking the throne because she doesn't want you to take it because she wants you to stay with her or something like that. Mm. Okay. You could, you can get Morgan involved in some grander way that very clearly distances her protection from you because that would make Amara much more likely to want to come out and do something. It's a possibility, yes. Um, and obviously this does not this is not something I'm expecting to happen like next week. This is something that we can slowly work towards and 
keep using um, the knowledge that we have, but also picking our brains to come up with the best plan possible. Because I preferably would like to involve the least amount of people possible. And I especially want the kids to not be involved at all and completely protected. I think that's... I don't mind putting myself at risk. You should know this by now. But Mm -hmm. I... Mm I do, I do care about who else I, who else, other lives that I put at risk, and right. I do want to do this carefully, and that is why I came to talk to you about it. Well, I appreciate that, um, and I think you, we certainly can come up with something. I think we'll have to spend some time tailoring it, and I do agree that we want to keep it limited in scope among people who know about it. Um, but I also am reminded of the uh, plan against Ziff five years ago mm. and that situation. And I remember there's a good number of people who got involved. And in some ways, the number of people who were involved actually helped because they were all able to join together for one purpose. Um, obviously, this is an intervention, so it's a different sort of thing entirely. But if we want to convince Amara, this is a moment of vulnerability in some ways we'll need to get a good number of people to be good actors and buy the whole situation over time um genuine reactions are important but with key people people that tomorrow would be inclined to look at and say oh this is what's happening here um so if we find the right people who we tell to you know commit to buying the story with us maybe even consider finding someone in each kingdom that we trust who would be willing to assist us in this endeavor or you keep it strictly to elves if you think this is a more elven matter if we don't need to involve them but i'd i'll discuss more with annabelle but i feel i would be comfortable with each of the princesses knowing um maybe less so rain but that's just because i don't know her very well and also because she doesn't really like the nether very well, so their relationship isn't grand. Um, yeah, things are still a bit tense there, even though it's been a little bit of time now since. But Yeah, it's not better. No. Um, yeah, I... It's possible. I feel like I'd have to talk to Annabelle... And possibly Morgan about that. Who who we would involve if we go forward with this. Very fair. Um, Alright, well, if you have any other thoughts you wish for me about this plan, I'm happy to provide them at any point in time. Um, and I'll think of things on my own, certainly. If, if I think of anything that I think could possibly help, I will be sure to let you know. Okay. Um... Is there anything else you wish to talk about? Um, you want some fireflies? (laughs) You do not want to keep them for yourself. No, I have nine bottles. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, well, I'll hold on to some, I suppose. Sure. Um, I also want to be a bit, well, Annabelle has, uh, gotten me to now be the personal tutor for Florian thanks to what (laughs) happened at school and so I don't blame you but I am sad (laughs) but I must now take on this responsibility (laughs) I'm sorry I don't know I don't know how you're managing it honestly and I I admire your desire to want to try and train the kids up and try to set a precedent that hasn't been established before in the kingdoms. Honestly, I I really, really wanted Florian to enjoy school. But even after I was able to convince them to even just show up and they still weren't enjoying themselves, I felt like... I really felt bad for her. I, like, I didn't... I don't want to force someone to be in a place that they don't want to be and then just be dreaded the entire time. Like, it would have been different if 
I convinced her to come. She came and then they had a great time. Like, and then made lots of friends and it was a great day. But it's just the day as the day went by, it was just more, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. And, and there were things that happened that I was like, oh, let's, maybe <laughs> let's not mm -hmm. do that. And like, I wouldn't have like said, mm, maybe I, I wouldn't have talked to Annabelle about it if I for those the things that did end up happening like individually but because florian had showed so much disinterest and zero energy for it i just didn't think maybe it was the right right thing for her so you know maybe she will do better with private tutoring i don't know yeah we'll uh we'll see time to uh start lessons next week so We'll see how things go. I may have to uh, see what curriculum you're currently teaching the kids to see if I can match it. Well, so <laughs> my curriculum in mind was learn through play. But I don't know. It seems that the parents want them to be more advanced and are looking for more advanced things. I didn't want to. I didn't want school to be something that felt arduous i just want mm. i wanted it they're so young but i wanted yes. them an opportunity to socialize together to learn about each other's kingdoms um by socializing and to also you know get out of their comfort zones of being in their own kingdoms right so it was less royal training which i think a lot of maybe parents were expecting me to do um because mm -hmm. i mean not every child that's attending is a royal i think sometimes they forget that um and more it's a it's a social place right. for them to be in a safe environment and being able to be just a kid and enjoy childhood which some of us didn't really get an opportunity for. No, that is, that's a good point. Maybe that, maybe that has to be more my motive uh, behind what I do with Florian. Um, well, I don't know. I would maybe talk to Florian, see what Florian wants. Maybe they don't want to be in school, a school like this, because they feel like they are more capable of different things. I mean, uh, I'll see. I am, um, I was just talking about this with uh, Marina earlier, actually, but um, I don't have many memories of my uh, childhood very deeply, you know, with our extended lifespans. Um, a lot of those memories seem more like distant dreams than anything. Um, it's been so long now. Um, but I just remember my father at a fairly early age, you know, before my 20s, starting to get me trained into advisory and that's where I met your sister and uh, well even in the midst of all that it's like I I don't remember what it was like to have, to go out and just do things and be rambunctious and so I I don't know if Florian themselves is even going to know what they want at this age oh. beyond just yeah, maybe. anything and everything you're also part nether, and so it's like, what does that mean? We're going to, have to talk to netherian children. Well, netherian children, they they grow up very fast compared to other children. They're a little, yeah, they they are seen. more advanced. They're sm definitely smarter. Um, I shouldn't say that. They're more they're more advanced de de developmentally. Um, yes. Not necessarily smarter, but they just, yeah, they just developed right. a lot faster different than stage. others. Yeah, mm -hmm. different stage. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But I do wish you the best of luck because even Thank though you. they, even though I love that child dearly with my whole being, they do drive mm. me a little, 
a little crazy sometimes. I understand. I'm not looking forward to being called old man <laughs> more times than I would like to admit. I got called stinky countless times today. <laughs> well, you know, that is part of your monikers. You know, you've always, you've gotten better. Oh my god. <laughs> Some things haven't changed after five years. I'm just saying. What? You're still a bit of a sweat. Listen, I get nervous. It's anxiety. I understand. Uh, so just use more soap. Use deodorant. <laughs> I do! How uh, much? I don't know, the usual amount? What's the, what's, where did you learn how to deodorize? Um... I don't know. I don't remember. Do you apply it to your armpits? Oh, that's where it's supposed to go? Yes, your deodorant's supposed to go in your armpits. Where have you been putting it? Just underneath, like, my, not underneath, on my clothes. On your clothes? I thought that was where you're supposed to put it. Wait, yeah, no, actually? So much. This explains so actually, much. Actually, serious? Serious? Slash serious? <laughs> <laughs> it <was> slash serious? Because, <laughs> wait, now I'm actually concerned. <laughs> <laughs> deodorant, deodorant. Okay, so, so, there are multiple kinds of deodorant, and some have become more popular in current eras. You have, like, stick deodorant, you have, like, gelatinous deodorant, which is one of my personal favorites. It's got some honey compote in there, it's quite nice. Um, and then there's also spray kind, which has become much more popular in recent days. Those are not technically, like, they, they work to an extent, but they're very different. I've tried the sprayed one, it gives me rashes. I don't that, like that one. You know, that's fine. Fair. So, so oh, yeah, alcohol is meant to be applied in places where you typically would sweat, where your, your sweat glands are. As elves, we are very similar to humans. We have sweat glands that are underneath our arms. We have sweat glands that are underneath, like, our, our knees. <laughs> and then you also have some that sort of, like, fall on that little curve between where your neck and shoulder meet. Those are the key places where our sweat glands are. And so that's where you want to apply oh, the deodorant to, directly to them. I see. Or anywhere you sweat. That can be literally anywhere. It can be in places you don't want to talk about and places you do want to talk about. And I have a question. Just as effective there. Yes, what's up? Why do you know so much about this? Um, <laughs> Hygiene 102, one of my advisor classes. <laughs> I can't. Classes. I can't. I never, I we, never learned. I learned everything about being an advisor from my father. And I didn't. I'm sorry. About you weren't an hygiene. advisor. A I hygiene just, specifically. Which is very fair. I, I'm not ex expecting you to know everything, but I was expecting you to at least been have been told that, you know, deodorant is applied to the skin. It reminds me of a joke from someone I used to love talking about all the time who made a joke about um, conditioner being put into the hair. Um, and yes, it is put in the hair, but it's funny how shampoo is used for the scalping, but it's just used from the hair. And, you know, you have to make sure that, you know, they're both used for individual purposes because that's important parts of hygiene. What is shampoo? All right, I think this conversation is over. Just I'm leaving. Goodbye. I think I think we're just proving. I'm <laughs> proving the fact that Kai is indeed stinky, and there's a reason why. <laughs> Listen, it's not my fault that I wasn't taught these things. Perhaps not, but now you know. So now, I you know it will change your life if you start using deodorant in those spots I mentioned, the three areas, and if you use shampoo, I can even use some of mine if you'd like. I have some really nice shampoo that. Am comes I gonna from... smell like you then? Well, no, that's perfume. That's a different sort of thing. Oh, okay. okay. You probably will a little bit. Is that a bad, bad thing? thing? Do I do I smell <laughs> bad to you at all, Melody? No, it just. I don't know. Every time I'm with Kaya, if I'm gonna think of Kano, I think it'll be weird. Well then, use use Melody Okay, Melody, shampoo. do I? Where, where do are you guys I going? Stink? What is this secret little hole down here? Oh, we, I'm sorry. Working. This I, we're working on this for the. It, oh. I'm trying to make like a playground area. Oh, nice. Okay. Expanding that, that's, the. That's, yeah. That's sorry. very fair. Ah. Well, no, it's fine. Well then, you know what? I'm just gonna say, Kaya. If Melody gives you permission, you should use her shampoo Gosh. and conditioner and deodorant, or at least figure out where she gets it from. <laughs> use that. Apply it. Give it a week. You will smell better. And you know what the kids will be saying instead of calling you stinky? They'll be like, wow, you smell like some sort of fresh no, rose Flo or something. No, Florian is still going to call me stinky. I'm not being... Do I you know smell what? like... You what do what I smell them? like? I don't even know what I smell like. Well, hold on. One second. Are you going to... I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna pull a karma. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, that was not. <laughs> what just, do you I'm mean pull a, little, a karma? 
She sniffed me. She literally walked up to me. It was like. <laughs> yep, she did. Five years ago. That was... mm -hmm. What did she say? It's she said we, we were talking about this conversation before because I said that Kaya smelled it was stinky, and My so Karma was like, "Really?" And so then she went up to, to Taya and smelled her right in front of her, and she's like, "You know what? You're right. Yes." Kaya, true. Kaya, Kaya, come here. Can you please just touch this? Thank you. Why? Oh, oh, because it's underground. I see. Because you're being yes. Um, you're gonna build over it anyway, so it doesn't. Matter. No, I'm gonna re-silk touch and it when I want to move it, so I'm not wasting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. grass. That's fair. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, all this to say, right now, I would say you smell. What's the right word for it? It's got like a bit of nice. that, like, um, well, because the problem is you've got a nice smell, but because you're in the nether, it's that it's got that bit of ashenness to it still. So it's like it's like underneath the notes of the ashenness of the nether, you've kind of got a bit of like it's it's got a bit of citrus. Um, but it's sort of like a citrusy floral kind of thing going on. Um, I'm not sure if it's like a sort of like a maybe like a marigold kind of thing going on. Um, I have no idea what nice. marigolds smell like. Ah, uh, well, that, you know, that's fair. I, I had a bunch of marigolds that I had in front of my house, my little abode back in the Old Kingdom. They were very, they're very nice and colorful flowers. Hmm. Anyways, that's how you smell. Um, as for me, I do not trust my own nose, so I'm I'm happy for you to tell me how I smell. <laughs> um, hmm. I would say it's kind of a mix of like evergreen pine and old books. <laughs> I, I don't want to smell right. like old books. That, that's what I, I said. think Don't the old book. I think the old book smell is just because you are in your room all the time. Yes, but no, and I am. I and I and I have very natural shampoos and things like that. There's these things called essential oils. They're very nice. You should probably. What? There's so many things. I can't. Just, you know, we're, we're, start, we're starting one step at a time. We'll start with shampoo and conditioner and deodorant and putting it in the right places, and you will be fine. What do you think you I'm smell like? I'm surprised we don't have. Uh, what do I think I smell like? Mm hmm. Because I would say um, pine, but I. Like, it's like a sweet. Like a. I mean, yeah. Like no, a it's, it's mint, like, but also a pine smell. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that, that's fair. I, I personally. It, it's sort of this um it's a spruce type thing oh yeah maybe um, spruce it's got, a, it's, 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 got a, it's got a bit of the maple which you might be smelling in there mm, and more yes, like, yes, the, yes. Um, like the bit of the syrup there kind of vibe almost the yeah a little yeah a little bit sweeter um, but yes in, in the books um they do come from the room but i will say that there is a specific type of deodorant that i have that uses um like shaved wood as part of it and that kind of turns it into a bit of a paste um, it's really good at clogging up the um, the sweat glands and making sure that they don't get anything out. So hmm. it, it's a very effective antiperspirant. I'm learning so many things today. <laughs> yeah, you know, again, things you learn as an advisor. You learn a lot about hygiene. I'm so glad I'm not an advisor. <laughs> Mel, can I borrow your shampoo? <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. Why not? Yeah, who Thank knows? Maybe, you. maybe we will make you into shampoo aficionado, and you'll start going around to all the kingdoms and saying you should buy our shampoo. And then, uh, I think I want to make it bigger. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay. Time are to, you really are. surprised? Time to. Ex no, I'm not. I. Well, I don't know what I was expecting. I think That's I want good. like actually this size, but so five of them. To, to clear all this out, you should then take a shower, and then you can use shampoo and conditioner and deodorant before you go to bed. That's a good idea. Yes. It's like effort. And I will say, taking a shower before you go to bed is good for relaxation. Taking a shower when you wake up is best when you want to smell fresh for the day. Um, but you don't do them both at the same time. If you've already showered once a day, you don't need to shower once again at night. Unless you're really sweaty. Um, different sorts of things. You can also dry out your skin too much if you shower too much. There's so many rules. Well, you can just use lotion if you shower every day. I mean, it does help. What yes. is lotion? It helps keep your skin moisturized. 
I need it yes, all the time exactly. in the nether. Because oh. otherwise I so would dry bad. out <laughs> so <laughs> bad. Does Morgan have lotion she uses? No, she doesn't need it. I'm over here yeah, like just, crackling just and dying over it. But like I don't, so the heat, what? what's interesting. Oh, Kano, I don't think mm -hmm. I've ever discussed this with you. What's interesting is oh, that okay. I, I think it's because from, from the ice. Like the heat doesn't bother mm. me. I don't sweat. The cold never bothered you anyway. Ha ha. Um, the the heat never bothered me. Um, yes, true. I don't sweat. Like I've done, and it, like I don't feel hot. But it's also slightly dangerous because sometimes I can't tell when I'm near fire or lava because I can't feel the oh. heat presence. Yes. So I can't feel heat. Like this torch, I can't mm -hmm. feel that. That is, that is fair. I'm sure that, to some extent, the uh, magic in the ice probably changed your genetics to some extent. I don't think it's genetics. I think it's a spell, and it's just still there and lingering. Because sometimes, right now, I don't have it. But every once in a while, I'm like, I have sparkling eyes. Like, my eyes kind of, like, have these sparkles floating around it. Actually, I, I don't hmm. think it's just my eyes. If someone touches me, they can also see it. But only when they touch oh. me. If they don't, they aren't touching me. They can't see nope. it. You touched her with a pickaxe. It's gonna be different. No, no, di oh, different. Sure. I mean, sure it means she, like I'm sure she. I means like pick. No, like no, no, like picking me up. Oh, so what you're uh, saying is that when Lady Morgan looks into your eyes and says, "Wow, <laughs> Melody, you look so fine." Okay, stop today. talking. You know, stop. You know, I don't want to hear these you know words from you. Is, it, I don't. I don't think it's the fact that you have special things. I think Morgan's just trying to flirt with you so hard that she's like, oh, "No, I'm seeing like them." It's gorgeous <laughs> time. Mm, mm -hmm. I think it's all psychological. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> You asked for this. This is the relationship you chose. I'm Are you going to help us hard. dig? <laughs> Why would I do that? Yeah, I, now that you're here, you might as well. Especially after no, saying that kind of stuff. You, here, I'm have a pickaxe. Right no, Actually, I don't have an extra no, one. No, I'm not, I'm not participating. Have a shovel. I, I am dealing with Florian in my own time. I will have my own... Is, what do you think I've been doing this whole day? You know, Florian made me sit in my room with a dress and kept poking me with needles. That was not fun. That was your choice. You no, it was not. That. Who told you? Did Anvil say sit in this room and wear no, a dress and Florian occupy Florian? Florian did, but I, then, then if, Flor, if I didn't do it, then Florian would have got sad. Then Florian would have said Annabelle, and then Annabelle would have been on my asshole. And I did not want that. Well, it, it, I don't know. It sounds like you let a kid boss you around. I'm not gonna say no that I'm gonna get in trouble. That it's my fault. That's not how this works. It is. You, With Florian, are... that is how it works. Well, unfortunately, it's not how it's going to work next week. I'm not gonna let Florian boss me around and tell me what to do. I think Annabelle and Karma are well aware of their child and their child's antics. I don't think mm -hmm. you have to worry about they that. Are. Precisely. I don't. I don't think you have to try and shy away from doing what's right. Um, in this particular case. Um, but anyways, what was I even saying before all this stuff about, oh yes, it was because, oh, because you're talking about the cold and the heat in the nether and stuff Yes, like and the, um, I, there was a point to that conversation earlier and I can't remember why. Yes, because we're talking about lotion. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I my it? skin dries out, but oh, I don't yes, get hot, yes. so. Yes, I was going to make a joke as well about, you know, I think you and Morgan are a good example of, you have the, maybe it's, um, her, maybe it's Maybelline sort of thing going on you're the you're the maybelline she's the her i don't understand that reference but huh? i'll just you not don't i don't wait, just what? not wait, say oh, no, it. You, you, you know wait, wait, it's, i'm not saying the right words it's like that like maybe it's it's not maybe it's natural it's like something like that but it's like maybe it's you know i can't remember the right words exactly my, my voices in my head should know exactly how it's supposed to go um but it's just Thing. Oh, are you saying like it's natural or it's like something that is implemented, like something bought or something? Precisely, uh, yes. Like you know, like it's it's the idea of like you know, use product or you don't, and, and oh yeah, they product. say that you know, you know, make it looking effortlessly wonderful and beautiful is obviously supposed to be more attain like highly attainable than you know just um, having to use product to do it. And so it's the idea that like oh, you can use this product and you'll look as if you don't use product. <laughs> is the whole. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. So, okay. I get. And yeah. So I'm That's saying that in this case, you know, you're confessing to how you use lotion every day, whereas Morgan doesn't have to, and you're basically just the, you know, epitome of that expression. True. So. It's, it's annoying, though. You, 
Precisely. Well, you know, just have Morgan come live with you in the overworld for a little while, and she'll feel a little chapped. I don't know if she would agree to that. I don't know. I've never tried to ask. Um, I mean, if you ask, she's probably more inclined to do so. It's probably going to be difficult for her, though, because she wants to make sure she can be wherever uh, Lena and Karma are at all times. Well, and she but also the rules out of the, overworld the kingdom. All right, but Annabelle is the nether all the time. And well, she, she doesn't live in the nether, though. Kingdom. Not yet. If she really wanted to, she probably could, though. She's got different responsibilities. Um... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just saying. Maybe it'd be worth. Uh, maybe that maybe, would. Maybe you should ask her to take a vacation sometime. And be like, you should go to the beach with me. And uh, see how that goes. Hmm. But um, anyway, I will stop talking in your guys' ears, and I will let you continue building. Um, or you can help us. I, I don't want to. No, I'm not <laughs> going to. I, I am not going to indulge in such frivolity. <laughs> no, it's not as work. <laughs> I refuse. Take off my tire, right? I'm, I'm not thinking. Why are you discarding it? You don't need it. I don't want it. If, if you don't want one, fine. I'll take your tire. I'm taking your tools. Oh, do you like tire? Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm just, I don't like wasting things. That's more of it than anything. <laughs> so I'll just put it in the That's a problem. In case you need it one <laughs> it's not the problem. That's, that's how a hoarder starts their habits. I don't like wasting things. It's true, though. I don't. My room is almost identical to how it was five years ago. I still have all the same things because I didn't <laughs> use them. But I still have them. Crazy. Exactly. Especially now. You know, I still have a chest full of food with all this food stuff, like shortage going on. I still have a whole bunch of baked Oh, good. Things, I will so. be sure to visit your room then at some point no, in time. No, 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 no. I'm just going to have to, I'm gonna have to hide my <laughs> I am safe. currently have two things of food and then i'm gonna need more yes, i did find out that um that uh was it we have a farmer at chromitrin and uh she will take an emerald and give you four apples um oh oh so it might be worth actually even <gasps> Ooh, in apples. we may have some farmers and you might be able to actually like get some good food trade yeah. with them because we can easily get more emeralds um especially with taxes we can just funnel it back through the system and so oh i need food, uh, taxes yeah speaking of which i should go check the taxes box at evergreen yeah i went to chromitra and i had like nearly a full line in a chest of 64 emeralds along the whole entire line it was pretty impressive that's is impressive that's i had like two eight, stacks nine, in evergreen and i thought that was already a lot yes so you may have more now um but either way i i will probably head back to the kingdom i am uh there's not much else I need to do at the moment, and so I'd rather just go and uh, get really deep and pressed for the night, I think. Okay, but, um, but yeah, but this was a lovely com Well, the first part of it was more serious. This was a lovely part of the conversation, and I'm very glad to know that you are going to be looking into hygiene in the future, Kaya. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for um, providing with this insightful, I don't know, session. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a very, very important thing. And you know, you know, maybe, maybe that's the real reason why Amara hasn't been talking to you. Maybe she just thinks you smell bad. Uh, maybe. But I feel like she's very blunt. She would have just told. I guess that's possible. I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe if right. I smell good, she'll give me more potions. <laughs> I don't think you want. But either way, All right. Well, you two have fun. I will talk with you later. Okay. Okay. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Bye. 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 What do I smell like? <laughs> you know I want to know. Okay. I don't know what else to do. Um, Nimbus is not on anymore. Let's go to Nimbus's Cry. place. Yay! I want to go. Okay. Um, who's on though? Sarah. I put my elytra on just in case. Um, Estelle, Avis, and Amora. Okay, I'm just gonna go there anyways. Okay. Here's the potions. Awkward potions. Honey bottles, oh. glass bottles. I don't see any actual potions in there. Um, brewing stands. Oh my god, it's us! Not you, but... 
I'm in that photo. That's a cute photo. I'm in the corner. Wedding photo. Oh, they could be in the ender chest. Lots of books. But he has like. awkward potions, which means he is brewing potions. Well, he's brewing that. That is obvious. Oh, what the fuck? Avis is flying around. Oh god, you freaking give me a freaking heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, I saw Avis flying around. Okay. All right, <sighs> I need you to hold something. Okay. Message from us, from Umiko. Sorry, it would absolute pleasure to see you in the Black Princess. Okay. See some day area. Elven crowning. News ex execution. Execution? I feel like I. Oh, actually, no. I think I briefly heard about that. The Wait, hang on, hang on. Mission Orchid Mantis. Enter the flower, learn its colors, wait for the unsuspecting fly to land. When the time is right, watch its colors explode. They live up there in luxury while the rest of us are banished. While rest of us banished ones have to hide away in darkness. They seem nice. I have to remember. It's not real. It's a lie. They said it was a lie. Would they lie? Fang might be an issue for the mission. If Rain becomes immortal, do I even want to do this anymore? Can I have that? Yeah. The art of pain. Keeps the handcuff. Oh. No keys, though. Hmm. Oh, we are. We are way high. Yeah, I figured we would be. That's why I'm so glad that I got this. <sighs> Nothing super incriminating besides having the ability to brew potions, but there's no evidence that there's fire res. But it's been used. The brewing stand's been used. Yeah, but there's no magma cream. There's no... Probably just ender chest. It's possible. Or... I don't know. This seems like the most here spot, though. Yeah, I feel like it would be here. But I guess... So either it was just if he, if he... talk and rumor, or he's being very careful about it. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. Why? Um. I know. You're not in character, I forgot. Oh, you are. I mean, right now I am. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> anyway. Oh, gosh. I hate being up this high. You hang on. There's Where's another there? There's another tower over there, and I want to go over there. That's not obvious <laughs> at all. Fine, no one's here. Okay, um, let it's me know when it's safe. There's nothing. Oh, you can see me, but there's nothing. Are you sure there's nothing like hidden up top? Uh, not that I see. Teleport. There's a bathtub here. That's funny. There's a. <laughs> what if he needs to take a bath? Um. Okay. Am I safe to go to you? Yes. Oh. There's nothing here. I was a get it when I said there's nothing here. Okay. Hmm. Not too much to work with here. Can you be, get me back to the castle, though? Pardon? Can you get me back to the castle, though? Uh, yeah. Please be careful. Swear Hope God. Estelle is not... Okay, TP. Oh, well, I'm on the ground floor of the castle. I don't know if that's what you want. Uh, no, I want to go up to Rain's room. Bear with me. Why 
we got the proof. Frick. Why'd you want to go back? I want to double check something. I have a question. Mm -hmm. If you, if I don't know if I'm allowed to ask. Well, not like I wouldn't be allowed to ask, but like, um, Kano said that like, well, it's right in front of my face, but he was like, oh well, what if Kaya is just gonna betray us again and tell Amara everything? This conversation that we had. Are you like? Do you, do you think that I've, like, demonstrated my loyalties en enough? I've already told you how I felt. Well, I know how you feel, but, like, I don't know how other people feel. And I figured that you would... I'm just so tempted to take this telepass. Brains? Mm hmm. Why? I took it. Just to have it. Okay. Okay. We can leave. I got what I wanted. Oh, oh, uh, Estelle is close. Okay. Not close, but like. Well, then let's just. In, within the boundaries of the kingdom? Let's just warp stone out then. How can you tell? Hmm? How can you tell that she's close? Because I, I see her. Oh. Let me take this one. Okay. <sighs> this is cute. They need it is cute. They didn't make it possible for you to sit on this, though. Well, well what if... Oh, just slash... Sit, no, not, okay, no, you it, you can only like right click on things like this. Oh, get the frog. That's cute. <laughs> I like how there's little stone frogs right next yeah. to it. Sand castle, that's cute. Sandbox. All right, I think I'm calling it. Okay. I at least have I have Rain's telepass. I have um the Warden Spawn Egg and I have Nimbus's office. Oh yeah, I wonder if I should put this in Nimbus's office. No, I'm gonna hold on to it and just have them freak out for a second. And then I'll put it in his office later after they find out it's gone. Hey, I'm going back to the nether. Okay. Have fun. See you later. Thanks for your help. Literally, actually, you could not, not have done all of that without kidding. you, so. 
Yeah. My loyalty is doubted. Well, we can't tell him about what I did, but... <clears throat> I've never doubted your loyalty. I know you haven't, but everybody else has. And that's kind of scary, because the only one that has not doubted my loyalty is never here. That's a little bit intimidating. Who's never doubted your loyalty? Pardon? Who's never doubted your loyalty? You! Oh! You are you're one of like the two people that 100% vouch for me. And you're not never here. Sorry. And you're not always here. Wait, what? You're gonna- what? What are you- what are I'm, saying? I'm, <laughs> I'm saying that I, I am living in a kingdom full of people that don't trust me. And the one person or one of the few people that do trust me doesn't even live in the elven kingdom anymore. Yeah. Sorry. Fine. You kind of brought it upon yourself, though. I did. I kind of regret it, but oh well. Oh my god. Now it's just us two. <laughs> you want to do something, now's the chance, because nobody else is around. I feel like I've already done everything. That I've wanted to do. I don't think there's anything else I could do. We could infiltrate the Cloud Kingdom a wee bit more than we already have. I don't know what else there is to see, though. That's worth us seeing. Unless there's, like, a secret compartment um, in the castle. Do you know? I don't know. We can go look, though. If you want to look. Is okay. it bedtime for you? It's... Yeah, but I'm not doing anything tomorrow. It's okay. Alright, um, let's do this. It's fine. Okay, are you at the Cloud Kingdom? No, I gotta put sugar cane away. Hold on. Is there any other way to get up besides flying? Oh, they got rid of them. I don't know. Maybe. I don't even have the elytra on. Okay. Careful. I really don't want you to die. I'm not gonna die. I'm really worried. Why do you always worry? I appreciate because I appreciate your help. Well, I appreciate your help. I just don't want to be responsible for your death, and I don't want you to die. If I think the only person respond, you can TP. The only person responsible for my death is me. You're not the one controlling the elytra. I. Okay. I'm just gonna search all the rooms. Didn't we search this room already? I feel like we did. This one also has a brewing stand, but this one has less stuff. We've already searched Probably. here, didn't we? Oh, you know what? This could be uh, Holden's room. Ow. Oh my god, please be careful. <laughs> I'll be- f I took like- I'm at half health, but no, it's there's fine. nothing here. Oh, okay. Do you need a golden apple? I have 58. I'm okay. <laughs> I have 58. Jesus. Oh my Listen, god. I find a lot of apples finding mansions. Look at this. They have a and spa I, room. I get gold. Oh, what is this? What? Huh? Where have you gone? Oh, what? Help me at Theo's. Oh my god. There's so much wool. <laughs> Steals all the wool. Glass. Where are we? Storage room, I guess. Secret <gasps> storage? What? Kaya. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the way to get up the castle. Oh, from below? Yeah. Hang that on, wait. I'm making a waypoint. <laughs> Come on, send me back up. Please. Pardon? Here we go. <gasps> In the spa room. I can't believe I missed that the first time. I have an ice bath. I, I have a hidden waypoint to that. Okay, I found a way to the room. I don't think we're. I feel like I I've been in this room a million bajillion times, but you know, it doesn't hurt to. I don't think. I think you've looked through every. as much as you possibly. Uh, in this room, you think? Uh, yeah. Well, well and in both rooms. I feel like there's parts of the castle I really haven't looked at. Ouch. 
Be careful. The empty library, which is very... What's with kingdoms and empty libraries? Oh, I guess ours is not very full either. Ours is kind of empty. Ooh, I kind of want to take Blast Protect. No, we'll leave it there. They're going to... Well, what did they notice? What's the know. chances they see? Swift Sneak. What if I take Swift Sneak and then we're just going to move the book a little bit? I'm taking Advisor. it. They're probably not going to notice it. Princess Ray. Stratus Law. Oh. Don't want that. Advisor. Didn't you read this and you determined? That it wasn't really law, it was just like. I did I? I don't remember. I already forgot. You did. I forgot what yesterday was like. Is there any buttons or like trapdoors or. Oh. That jump scared me. <laughs> gonna probably say no. <gasps> Secret there, chest. There's what? Oh, nothing useful. Nothing really. A princess. A prince is Noah's stuff, unless you're error. Okay, well. Oh, I was trying to walk you in. Didn't work. What? <laughs> Okay, that's it. Well, I'm not flying anymore. You gotta do it yourself. I well, I just found the way to be able to not fly to get up here, so. Oh, fuck. Oh, now I'm useless. What? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is your plan all along. Man, this castle's so pretty. I was invited here once and I didn't get to go. The ball was nice. Apart from, you know, the whole. I didn't even get to thing. go to the ball. I'm gonna sit on her throne. <laughs> Please stop. Melody, wait, come back. Come back to the main. <laughs> come back to the throne room. Hold on. I'm looking at these desks. There's like five. There's like so many libraries in this kingdom. Hi. <laughs> Can't believe this. I could be executed in a watch, minute. <laughs> watch her <laughs> join the game and is like, and we're just both here standing here awkwardly. <laughs> oh, there's just a skeleton horse in here. Okay. I was going to get a screenshot of me on her throne, then I was like, it's probably not a good I idea. I was also <laughs> thinking the same thing, and I was like, that would be the worst way to dox you know what? both here, of us. I'll, I'll screenshot it and then keep it, and then when you're, when the, when other people know about this, this lore We're piece, then you can, then you can share it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I want you in it. Wait, get, get over here. No, I'm not involved. Yes, you are. No, I'm super sneaky. Nobody knows I'm involved. Oh, I have the screen. It's for me and me only until, until later dates. Okay, this is just a normal kitchen. Oh, with the dragon that I didn't notice. <laughs> Sleeping. Pardon? I said it's just a normal kitchen. Oh, with the dragon. Oh yeah, the dragon. I remember the dragon was oh. was there. Sorry. I was well, just we had the this. ball. Max was not too happy about that. Okay, whatever. I don't. I'll search every single block. I'll be really sad though if I miss one and there was actually something there. I come in here, right? Oh, gracious, gracious me. Alright, I think I've looked <laughs> this kingdom top to bottom. More than you've looked at your own <laughs> I, I don't, don't have a kingdom. To find. Well, the nether. I've, I've seen a lot of the nether. You'll be Ow. surprised. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
I want to go. Let me do it. Uh, oh, I want to go too. Frick, I'm stuck. <laughs> Where the hell? Oh, it's a secret way to oh, get another... in. Oh, another the wall. Wow. This they are these new? I, they I don't know. I I mean, it's not like I looked over this way. But you can walk in between the. Hmm. Are they preparing for war or something? I. Well, see, that's why I was on this mission because if they're gathering fire as potions, building a wall, seems all very. And you can hide in the wall and ambush. Sus. Very sus indeed. You can quick rotate up here. Okay. Swing! I can't sit on the swing. Sad. I can sit swing. on my swing at home. <laughs> swing, swing. Is that the tower that we were at, or is that different? Yeah, that's where we were. That's Nimbus's. But we didn't look below, though. We didn't look below. I didn't even realize there was a below. So oh, it's kind of a side part. This too. is the this is the knight's tower. Still. It's just Nimbus's office is above. It looks empty though. Um. There's a waystone to here, though. Well, you have was Hang on. Why is there a waystone here and then a waystone right here? Probably because he wants the knights to be able to get the bottom one and him to only have the top one. Oh, wait. Because you can't get to his office. I see. It's not connected. There's nothing in here. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather just keep his. I don't need both. These pathways remind me of a certain game with a certain map that I hated Perhaps with a, my entire Perhaps a rainbow soul. road that you drive across <laughs> and you can, you can fall. Fall to your death, much like I feel. It's going to kind of make me excited a little bit. We. You're basically a seraph already. Oh, is this the pool to yeah. go around? Seraphs are so cool. I want to cause a little bit of chaos, but I, I'm not going to. Spawn a warden and leave. The <laughs> Gosh, I, I don't be understand so why everybody. So evil of me for to do that. I don't want but to like, do that. Uh, like in all People honesty, would wardens really die. Amora. War I care about wardens Amora. I are not. not wardens are not that bad. There's children that live up here. I'm not spawning a warden up here. That'd be so oh, that's terrible. True. I want to go look in the this castle. House. I don't think there'd be Oh, anything. this was the house of the person yeah. that was here yesterday. That, um... Ooh, that's a fish. He almost They have walked their in on. horse in their house. Not a cost. All right. Eh, I guess there's no really diamond. point in looking into the new people. Unless they... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think... Well, unless they're working with rain, I don't think... Or Nimbus. I don't know. I almost couldn't get out the door. That scared me. Do you know who the new knights are? Uh, technically, well, Holden, but he's not new. He's oh, been around. Okay. He's just a new knight. Um, that's about it. What about other kingdoms? Uh, mermaids got a couple years ago. Uh, Aiden, Captain Aiden, mm -hmm. and recently. Knight Hadel, who is very interesting to say the least. Oh yeah, I see. I didn't know names or faces, but I heard your conversation. Which one? Um, I can't really remember specifics right at this moment, but Hadel is very um nice, but um a little bit too forward. If if you know what I mean. I don't know what that means. Flirty? Very flirtatious. Okay. I like this door. It's the tavern. Oh, they made the upstairs deep, deep dark themed. Whoa. This is cool. 
I want to sleep here. I want my room to be like... Time to... Upgrade. I don't know why I think there thought there would be like evidence in here or anything. In the tower. In the public tavern. I want to go to that tower over there. Please be careful. <laughs> This is oh, this is Sirius's office. Okay, teleport. Okay, are you inside? Please go inside. Thank yes. You. Love Sirius. Keep your tools. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Are these all book and quills? I think most of them are. No, they all are. Shoot, I gotta make sure I didn't accidentally put my book and quill back. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, oh, we'll no. <laughs> oh no. That's that's right. my spine master <laughs> stuff. I need that back. Okay, well we're just gonna Oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> How could I misplace it already? <laughs> Are you sure you're gonna have for this spy master stuff? Okay, I may be clumsy at times, but I'm usually not stupid, but <laughs> did I put it No, I'm I'm looking through. How many pages have you written in it? It should be like fifteen. No way. Did I put it in there? We're gonna find out in a second. I feel like I picked up two books. Was it in your inventory? I'm trying to remember. Why would I put it away, though? Because I want to keep it on me at all times. Well, when you went back to the nether before we came back. Oh, now I'm really worried I put it somewhere <laughs> in the entire <laughs> kingdom. God. Did you leave it in her bedroom? In Rain's bedroom? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm really concerned now that I've taken a T time random to roll back the quill. server. <laughs> oh, Why am I stupid? <laughs> No, you're not stupid. We all make mistakes. <laughs> God damn! I could. I think I took a random book and quill from s s one of the times we've been searching some stuff and left my. I gotta keep that <laughs> knot in my hot bar. Oh no. I've been feeling it's just not. I'm gonna keep looking here. You can. Okay, I'm going back to Nemesis' office. Yep. <laughs> Oh gosh. You leave it in the nice. Um, no, I don't think there was books in there. It would have been, um, probably in Rain's office, honestly. I was probably where I left it. Can you get me back to the main castle? Oh, uh, perhaps. Oh gosh, I'm stupid. Leave you safe, please. Please. I really, I really do need to find it. Not only okay, is yeah, that you, gonna... You can, you can come. Okay. Stratus Night Handbook. Not in his office? No. Is it in the nether? Do you want to go check the nether? Maybe I should real quick. Because I put things away. And then if it's not there, then... <laughs> then I'm absolutely stupid and I majorly messed up someone's We've, gonna find it. All of it. this was for nothing then. <laughs> God. <laughs> what, am, what am I gonna do? What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I didn't write a single thing about you in that book. No, I know. Well, it doesn't exactly... Actually, oh, who no. did you name drop? I definitely name dropped myself. I've made it obvious that it, it's me who's writing the book. I need to maybe change my notes a little bit. Now that I'm paranoid about it.
Okay. It was at the, it was in the library. I put it with the enrollment papers. Okay, I'm glad we didn't search What'd the entire. I found it. It was just in our. It's in my library, at our house. Oh my god. Okay. You've had it this whole time. Typical ones that have zero signs. No one knows where they are. Okay. But Anthony or Melody. Question mark named Aurora. Okay, good. I've rewritten my book to make it sound like I didn't write it. But with the information that's in it, they probably know it's either you or me. <laughs> so Wait, what? Well, Wait, because I mentioned the fact that Nimbus found um Kaya and Melody in Ivywood and then Lorelia just happened to find out that I was in the Nether Kingdom or Winter Kingdom. Oh. So it sounds pretty sus, not gonna lie. But you're not gonna, but who are you giving this to? I'm not giving it to anyone. It's just my notes, so I remember what I've okay, okay. find out. Okay. I'm just like, if I happen to leave it in a random place, like, like where I just panicked, <laughs> like, thinking oh I just God. left it in a random spot. You don't spot. understand the panic I You don't understand the panic I had! <laughs> that's a lot, this... that's a lot of, finger, that's a lot of sus I'm writing down in one book. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I think I'm calling it a night just for that. Are you gonna show Morgan? I, I don't show her things, I just tell her things. Or like tell, I mean, findings? Yeah. Or findings? Yeah, I'll tell her the things that I think she will find important. The other things that I feel like are just speculation, I'm not going to say until I actually find evidence for. Like the whole nim keep the, Nimbus thing, I'm not going to really tell target. her. No, I'm going to tell her about the egg. Oh. I'll tell her about the egg. I'm going to tell her about um, apparently this illegitimate child that Rain has. And wait, what? Oh yeah, that was in a book in Rain's oh. office. Oh. Um, I mean, okay. And then I will. Let's see. What else did we gather? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then I found two, found two ways into the castle from the ground. It's actually really good. I did not expect to find those. Yeah. Now you're my partner in crime on this. You cannot tell a single soul. You can't tell Max even. I I'm not telling Max. I tell Max very specific things. I even struggled to tell him um the memory I got back. I didn't want to at first. No, I'm not telling him. Yeah, don't 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 even tell him. Well, no. I think I thought that was I thought my uh secrecy for this was already implied. <laughs> it's just yeah. between you and me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's happy Saturday. Well, Saturday for me now. Yeah, it'll be Saturday in an hour for me. But <sighs> okay, well. Oh god, I was about to log off at the <laughs> just in like next to Rain's. That would not have been good. Yeah, that probably wouldn't have been good. Not ideal. Okay, as well. If I don't see you tomorrow, it'll be Sunday. I will be on Sunday. I have to talk to Morgan. I also need to talk to Morgan on Sunday. <laughs> it's crazy. It's gonna be a busy day. It's just, and she's talking to like two other people. It's yeah. I probably it, won't get a chance to talk, but it's a busy day on Sunday. Um, okay. Alright, good night. night.